Welcome everyone to the liberation of Poland. This is it, man. The Warsaw Uprising has left our glorious city in even more ruins since those bastards came to our country six years ago. Now the Russian swine pigs have arrived to help us. Don't trust these Bolsheviks, so let them do most of the dying for us. Soon we shall be free again. All right, everyone, welcome back to the Poland mini campaign here. It's been a little bit since I played it, and I'm happy to be back. And as the instructions say, it's, uh, <laughs> it's probably a good idea if we allow, allow the Bolsheviks to run out there and get themselves killed. Looks like there's a lot of fire coming from the uh, buildings and houses. Ooh, and there's a Hetzer there with the uh, big, beautiful machine gun on top of that. The MG42 firing away, so uh, we'll kind of stay put for the time being until we get some other orders. What's our uh, next objective here? Destroy the monastery in the middle of the road. And those bastards have holed up our men in an apartment block. Let's hope they have not executed them. Whoa, it looks like more Russians are arriving. This is, oh boy, that's uh, pretty incredible. Look at all the, oh boy. Holy boy. Oh, ho ho! A circle seven down below in the comments section too. Come on now, guys. I want to see it. I want to see 500 circle sevens and 6,000 likes on this video. Let's get it done. Share it with a friend. It'll be definitely cool. Thank you very much for your support, you guys. All right, now let's get this done. Outstanding. Enjoy burning in hell, you German pigs. That's what you get for invading our country. So it looks like the Bolsheviks have made their push on the left flank, and it's time for us to do the same on the right. All right, well, we've held uh, still long enough. Let's get the Polish uh, forces up there. Then looks like, uh, oh, looks like our friends got liberated from over here. Thank you. Those bastards executed the uh, last of our men. Poor souls. They must rest in peace. Now let's kill those bastards. Wow, there's a lot of, a lot of shit talking from the Poles. Man, I'm Polish myself, so. All right, let's roll. Come on, boys. Oh, we got a medic with us. Oh, cool, some partisans. Nice. Are all of our Oh, yeah, all of our guys are... Oh, actually, some of them are actually uh, Polish soldiers and some partisans as well. All right, let's team up. Let's get across. Let's start rocking. All right, looks like it's crew injured on the Hetzer. Hopefully the uh, T-34s take the rest of that thing out. We'll go through the apartment block. Start opening fire, boys. Get behind cover. Come on, get out of that apartment building. Let's go. Holy shit, what was that? The shell just went down the side of the apartment block. Start fighting them, guys. Come on, medic, medic, medic. Where's our medic? Oh, grenade. They're everywhere. Let's get the rest of our guys through. As usual, the medic's probably the first guy going to be killed. We'll have to find which which one of our boys has the uh, medic kit. Come on, quickly find him. There we go. Oh, boy, that guy flew quite a, quite a far distance. All right, grab that medic bag. Yeah, shoot those boys down like the foul they are. All right. Come on, guys, heal up everybody. Oh, I missed this guy. Where's he? Oh, God, machine gun. Shoot back, guys. Cover me. Come on. Come on. Where are you at? There we go. We got him. All right, perfect. Okay, most of our guys are healed up here. Looks like we've uh, penetrated the apartment block area. Looks like there's an uh, enemy vehicle around here somewhere. Is the Hetzer still alive? Yes, it is. All right, with time to get that thing dead. Let's get it dead. What do we got here? Uh, grenade C-33s and O-33s. I don't know what the hell we do against that thing. Do we have anything to take it down, AT-wise? Anybody? What do we got? A shovel? Ooh, a Molotov. Who had the Molotov? Come on, I'm looking for the Molotov. Some smoke grenades. Oh, plenty of good weapons, though. Ah, here we go. We got the Molotov. All right, burn, you son of a bitch. Toss it. No, comrade. Well, maybe not comrade, but uh, let's get our guys up there and cover them. All right, medic's back. Man, we just got a full-time field hospital out here. Throw that Molotov. Come on, throw that Molotov. There we go. All right, let's burn them out. Grenade's going out, too. Whoa, the shell firing across. The Hets are doing a good job, by the way, against uh, enemy or friendly tanks. A lot of uh, Russian tanks there just parked waiting for the Hets to go up in flames. Oh, there she goes. All right, get away from it, guys. She's going to blow. Oh, boy. She sure did. A Russian shell coming in right at the same time. It was either fire or the uh, fire from the uh, friendly tank. Excellent work. All right, the rest of these poles are going to clear everything out. Bastard who has been in charge of the ghettos and executions is cowering in his tent in the gardens. Let's get that bastard and show him some Polish justice. All right, let's do it then. All right. So if you don't know anything about history, Poland probably got it uh, among some of the... Some of the worst in, in terms of uh, the occupation and such. Not to say that anybody else had it easy, but history uh, shows a pretty uh, sad portrait when it comes to that. But let's execute this some bitch right here. I think this is him right here. Yeah, that might have that might have been him or the guy in the tent. Oh, is that it right there? A little coward. I think we got him right there. 
We did it. We finally did it. Our city is free. I can't wait for the British and French to hear this. Soon we shall be free and sovereign. That is, if those damn Brits actually follow anything they say. Oh, interesting. A quick mission and a good wrap-up, by the way, to the Polish campaign. There are a few missions I didn't play involving partisans and such, which are pretty quick, too. But I wanted to uh, show off the uh, cinematic destruction of this city and a very beautiful map, too, by the way. Poland very uh, built up. Wow, in fact, this uh, that is, uh, wow, Polish construction. This building is actually hovering. The Russian tanks went right through it. Look at that. <laughs> that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Wow, that house. Uh, I want to live there. That is a house that's not going to collapse. Right, so look at the amount of T-3485s here. Look at the amount of carnage. Wow, a, the Tiger tank here, actually. Did not even know that. I didn't even see that thing until just now. Tiger H looking nice in the uh, in the uh, cover that it had, but it probably got had gotten taken out by... Uh, oh, wow, look at the destruction on this one tank. That is just brutalized right there. Type brutalized down below in the comment section. Come on now, join me. And smash that like button to show your support for these uh, Polish troops and Soviet troops who fought it out here today. And the Polish who kind of went on a little side mission on the flank to get a little bit of revenge on the Germans. All right, well, that's it. We'll probably end up being just fine, and uh, Poland will be a sovereign nation again very soon. Which actually didn't happen. It was part of the Soviet Union for the longest time. Well, the Warsaw Pact, to be specific. And, uh, yeah, they did, not, uh, they did not get their independence for a very long time. All right, well, let's take a look at these Polish troops, by the way. I really like this mod a lot, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I like how they're just still... I'm trying to have a casual discussion, and there's uh, just gunfire in the streets. I like that. It's hilarious. But, uh, yes, there are uh, partisans and regular Polish fighters, and their troops actually look very cool. They, uh, yeah, they, they got quite a nice uniform. I like the helmet. Very good fighters. Wow, these buildings got wrecked. Look at all that, man. That is just absolutely impressive. I love this. Okay, well, anyway, if you've been uh, missing the longer videos, that'll be coming soon. If you're, uh, you know, watching as these come out, don't worry about that. I'm just playing things that I haven't yet played before and uh, just having a good time. I'm really appreciating the uh, hard work, too, by the way, that goes into these kinds of mods. I like this map. I, uh, wow, that's actually really, really cool. And uh, I'd like to see somebody make this map into, a, like, a bigger overall campaign to play as the Soviets to clear out... Uh, clear out the city of, I, I guess we were, were we in Warsaw? I'm assuming, because it's called the Warsaw Uprising. Anyway, yep, bad times. So, anyway, towards the end of the war, Polish forces rose up against the uh, German occupiers, and uh, the Soviets kind of weren't able to help as much as they would have liked, I guess, and bad things happened. But, anyway, that's enough from history. If you want to link anything, or facts, or whatnot, or stories down below, please do. Again, show that Circle 7 for all the boys who do these mods, and of course the boys who really fought and died in these wars make these games possible. I mean, it's kind of true if you think about it. So, anyway, I'm going to steal myself a tank, and I will see you guys next time. We're going to Dairy Queen, or Burger King, or McDonald's. What do you like? I love my ass McNuggets, that's for sure. I'll see y'all. Bye.